Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. This channel, Avid Science, is all about trying to learn various concepts of science by practicing a lot of questions. In this video, we are going to solve this question on lead code regarding team dominance by past success. The difficulty level of this question is hard, and I'm going to share the SQL schema as well as the Panda schema in the description box below. Okay, the question reads: We are given a table called teams with two different columns, player ID and team name. Player ID is the unique key for this table. Each row contains the unique identifier for player and the name of one of the teams participating in that match. We are also given a second table called passes with three different columns, pass from, timestamp and pass to. The combined columns pass from and timestamp is the primary key for this table. Pass from is a foreign key to the player ID from teams table. Each row represents a pass made during a match. The timestamp represents the time in minutes that is 0, 0 to 90 when the pass was made. Pass 2 is the player of the player receiving the pass. We are asked to write a solution to calculate the dominant score for each team in both halves of the match. The rules are as follows. A match is divided into two halves. The first half is first 45 minutes and the second half is next 45 minutes. The dominant score is calculated based on successful and intercepted pass. When pass 2 is a player from the same team, you get plus 1 point. When pass 2 is a player from opposing team, you get minus 1 point. A higher dominance score indicates better passing performance. We are asked to return the result table ordered by team name and half number in ascending order. Let's go through this example. Here we have various six different player IDs from various teams and we have the passes table. So let's look at, so we have two different teams, Arsenal and Chelsea. Let's look at the dominant score of Arsenal in both the halves. So if we look at, so player IDs 1, 2 and 3 are from Arsenal. So this is a pass from and to the Arsenal. So plus 1, plus 1 and then from 3 to 1. So plus 1 again. And if we look at 4 to 1, so 4 is not a Arsenal member. Chelsea to Arsenal. So won't be counted for Arsenal and everything else is the second half. So in first half for Arsenal, the score is plus 3. For second half, if we look at it, so there is 1, 2 to 3. 3 to 4 is from Arsenal to Chelsea. So that means plus 1 here, minus 1 here. And then from 1 to 2, so again plus 1. And then 5 and 6 do not belong to Arsenal. So for Arsenal, in first half, plus 3 dominant score. In second half, plus 1 dominant score. Similarly, we can calculate for Chelsea as well. So to solve this question, what we need to do is we need to merge the passes table on the team's table twice. Firstly, using the pass from and Secondly, using the pass to with the player ID column to get, okay, what all teams these players actually belong to. Then if the players belong to the same team, you get plus one. If not, you get minus one. So let us go ahead and start doing this. So what I'm doing is from this table called passes aliased as P, let me perform a left join of the team's table first time aliased as T1 on p dot pass from is equal to t1 dot player id and then again perform a left join of the team's table alias as t2 this time on pass 2 equal to t2 dot player id okay let me go ahead and return everything from the passes table and t1 dot team name as well as t2 dot team name let me go ahead and run this let's see what do we get in our output so if you look at this what we have here is let me just drag it to the left so you have pass from timestamp pass to team name so basically the first column is coming from pass from so one belongs to arsenal and two also belongs to arsenal so what we can do is we can use the case when statement. Let us keep the t1 dot team name because we need for every team name in every particular half what is the points. So keeping t1 dot team name and then what we are going to do is let us use case when t1 dot team name is equal to t2 dot team name. Then you assign one else you assign minus one because that is the point that you get end as points 
and then what we can do is we can use this time scam column to actually get the half. So case when your timestamp and timestamps come from passes table. So p dot timestamp is less than equal to remember this column this timestamp column is a var card that is it's a string and obviously in on a string you can perform operations like less than or equal to so and the format is minutes colon seconds so 45 0, 0. so if it is less than or equal to this then obviously it is half number one else it is half number two and as half number okay now let me go ahead and run this let's see what do we get in our output okay so if you look at this if i just drag it more to the left so now what we have is pass from pass to team name points and half number so now we can go ahead and store this entire thing in a common table expression so with cte as this entire thing goes into parentheses and then from this common table expression for every team and half number right so group by team name and the half number return me the team name and the half number and perform a sum on the points column and that is going to be the dominance right if we look at our output that is what it says dominance so as dominance and the final output should be ordered by team name and half number in ascending order so order by team name and half number let me go ahead and run this let's see what do we get in our output so yeah this is accepted if we look at our output our output is exactly same as expected output let me go ahead and submit this to pass all the test cases so yeah, this is accepted and this is how do it so Tricky question, what we basically did was firstly we performed a join of the passes on the teams table twice so that we can get the team name of the pass from player and pass to player. Once we had that then we used the team names to make sure whether pass from and to the same team or not based on that points were assigned and then we also calculated the half number stored this entire thing in a common table expression and then we grouped by the team name and half number to calculate the total sum of points which is basically dominance so yeah, this is how we do it let me know if there is a better more efficient solution to solve this question let the solution be in the comment section below and i'll see you guys in the next video